Hello, welcome to Miss Kitchen. I'm MR. Thank you for visiting this channel. I usually introduce easy, healthy Japanese recipes. And today I will make kabocha dango, which is pumpkin dumplings. Mm. Are you having pumpkin dish for the Halloween night? And you can try something Japanese style pumpkin things. Here we go. The simple ingredients. Pumpkin. If you can find Japanese pumpkin at, at the market, you should choose that. It's usually got green skins. And potato starch. You don't have potato starch. Choose corn starch. First, wash this pumpkin. Cut the pumpkin into random chop. I will <laughs> it is usually very hard. the seed off. I'm going to use half pumpkin today. Okay. And you spoon. It's the same. Like when you are making jackal lantern, are you using spoon to take the seed off? Not too big, not too small. the bowl. Now put into the microwave and microwave for Two minutes, six hundred watt. It's about two minutes. And maybe two more minutes. Just turn. Again. Looks like three minutes. It's depending on the pumpkin. Okay. 
丈夫かなちょっと硬いなパンキンホクホクだわ絶対おいしいよホクホクかぼちゃだパンキン。Very good. Add starch, sometimes one tablespoon, sometimes three tablespoons. With low heat, put some oil on the pan. About one spoon of mashed pumpkin, like that, round it. Flat and round it. Until the both sides, the surface, are golden and a little crispy. It's done. Making sato joyu. One spoon of sugar. Add soy sauce. Mm, a little bit more. It's ready to eat. The rest of mashed pumpkin, you can lap it 
like a cookie dough. Then put in the fridge. You can slice when you are eating. You can leave this in the fridge for a few days. Thank you for watching. Try this Mizu kitchen style kabocha dango. Of course, you can put the other kind of sauce like butter. And I will add some more Japanese simple recipes next time. Please find out something you want to try. Okay, bye bye.